Victoria is the first Australian jurisdiction to establish formal state-based negotiations for a treaty. Last month, around 7,000 members of Victoria's Indigenous community cast their votes to elect members to the First People's Assembly. It's the second such election. The stakes are high because this is the group that will be sitting down with the state government to negotiate a historic treaty. The ballots have been counted and this is what the assembly looks like. There are 22 members who have just been elected. They represent Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people across five regions, Metro, Northwest, Southwest, Northeast and Southeast. In addition, there will be at least 10 seats reserved for formally recognised traditional owner groups, such as the Wurundjeri, Gunditjmara and Tungarang nations. But there are calls for more of such seats. But for those who've just been elected, many are returning members from the previous assembly. But there are some fresh faces hoping to make a real difference at this critical juncture. Obviously, the most important thing is to do what we have been elected by our communities to do, um, which is to deliver on treaties so that our communities have true self-determination. And rather than coping in systems institutions that don't work for them, um, setting up ones that actually do. Exactly what might go into a statewide treaty is still unknown. But key themes did emerge before the assembly election. And that is for Indigenous Victorians to have a greater voice when it comes to improving outcomes in health, education, employment, and to veto activity on culturally sensitive land. It's good for our inner self actually to work on the problem, uh, create the solutions and the activities, and then you can see the vision and you can make the vision happen. So that could be years, months, who knows. The new look First People's Assembly will have its first meeting in late July. And if it all goes to plan, the first round of negotiations with the state government should get underway before the year's end.